Ugh. All right, good morning, motherfuckers. It is, I don't even know. Is it Tuesday or Wednesday here? It's Tuesday, February 25th. Uh, I took yesterday off, oh, I mean, from vlogging. I uh, had to edit for most of the morning, and then uh, yesterday afternoon I went and met a couple of viewers from the vlog who happened to be in town. And we really, I just took them over to, uh, I just met them in Shibuya, and we just went on like a walk, got a crepe, hung out. I came back here, I ate some ramen, and I went the fuck to sleep. I drew a little bit, and I went to bed. My number one tip for today, when you come to Japan, uh, schedule a rest day, if you can. Because me and the homies yesterday were sitting here wondering, like when someone comes to town they only have like two or three days how in the world you manage to not just be tired as fuck you know like with jet lag and getting here and you know probably you're changing your diet whatever else is happening like how the fuck how would you maximize your time if you only had three days so my main thing is I don't I don't know how you would do that I guess you would just have to stay up somehow get wired you know I don't know energy drinks meth coke pick your poison I guess but uh for me personally I don't really fuck with any of that stuff other than caffeine so I uh I have to rest <laughs> There's no substitute for me for some good old good old sleep. So uh, yeah, if you come here, I would try to schedule some time to rest so you can actually enjoy yourself, not get overwhelmed, argue, you know, because it can get overwhelming. Uh, so schedule a little time. Today, I was gonna actually go back to, it was where me and Ern left the vlog last time when we left Tokyo, Narita. Town of Narita is really fucking cool. And we didn't get, me and Ern just ran through that town and temple so fast. So I did, I wanted to go back out there today, but my, my friends that I met here, Brandon and Caitlin, are one to go check out Nakano Broadway and Koenji. I gotta go see my homie in Koenji at Honey Bee Crepes, like my favorite crepe spot in Japan. Always make a trip over there. So I decided to go do that with him this morning instead, and Nakano Broadway is the toy district. Obviously, I should go revisit the toy district. I go there almost every time I'm here, too. Some of this stuff's repetitive, you know? Some of this stuff uh, you do more than once, because it is so vast that you your brain shuts down before you can accept all the information. Pretty much what the morning is. It's a little chilly this morning. We're gonna go get on the train, get our ass over to Nakano Broadway, meet them, get a crate, and uh, then see what the rest of the day goes. We may still end up going out to uh, Narita today, because they got to dip off around two, so we'll see what happens. Not really good. And then I've got to figure out where to go. We're out of this, we're out of this Airbnb in a few days. So actually, let me, make, let me check the date so I don't get fucked up here. All right, be right back. Here's a Japan trip. <laughs> Everything opens late, dog. Nothing opens early, really. For shopping. You want your photo taken in front of this for Instagram? I got you, dog. <laughs> Fan, pop in my breakfast. A tuna blunt. Alright, we started off with a little sushi. And now we're going with the Choco Bear. Taking the place of Dirty E. We got Dirty B. Dirty B in the building. I like how you waited for a good deal. You know? That's, yeah. That's a sign of a man. That's an American. A man who's on a savings the last quest. last one was 120 A dollar. It's probably old stock. Probably. I'm just kidding. There's like no corn. It's warm, right? Yeah, there's yeah. no corn on the top, though. You gotta just chug it. God, I can fucking smell it, dog. It's just corn. Yeah. Just a can of corn. Nice. It's that was, fine. That was a very non-stellar review. It's not bad. <laughs> it's just corn. Traffic jam. Park there. When you're already late, everything is fucking closed. The crepe shop is closed on Tuesdays. So now we're getting a loaf of bread. <laughs> Bro, today is the day of gluttony. We're going in. The chocolate cat? Pumpkin green tea. Strawberry pumpkin green tea. Strawberry. 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 Dang, look at all those toys. It's like a donut with a donut. Same. They put the hole back in the donut. Bro. This morning was a bust, man. Everything is closed, which is another thing about Tokyo that I tend to forget is that shit does not necessarily open early. Uh, especially when you come to town and you're real excited to go do stuff like Nakano Broadway and Harajuku for sure. Stuff doesn't open till like 11, 12 o'clock. So you'll be on some weird ass time frame in your body, ready, rip roaring and ready to go and everything will be closed. Which is what happened this morning. We jumped the gun, but it was cool. We walked around, saw that temple, blah, blah, blah. Uh, don't know what the rest of the day is going to entail. It's a little muggy out, um, but I'm going to start doing some research to figure out what it is I want to do next. A couple of hours. So I'll be back with y'all soon. Hopefully I have a better idea of what the plan is going to be. Because right now we're just kind of wandering. 
Uh, and I should probably draw a little bit too. I haven't drawn shit, but I have done some research. So originally, Toshi had told me I should go check out Hachi Jojima, uh, which you can go to Hachi Jojima, which is an island, and then you can take a boat or a helicopter to, I don't know how to say this other one, it's some, like Ayo Jojima maybe? Achojima, something? It's another small secret Jurassic Park looking island that is supposedly really cool, but the more I look into both of those islands, one, island life is really expensive apparently, which makes sense, but really really small islands, everything's real expensive. There's not really like a lot to do other than hike and do nature stuff, which is cool, but I don't really think that that's what I wanted. One of them you can't even really hike, like you need like full hiking gear and shit, and but that's, we're not about that life. I do believe tomorrow, whoa, I do believe tomorrow. So I have this place to the 28th. So I think I go home the third. So we gotta like do this shit quick. So what I'm gonna do tomorrow, I'm gonna go to Kanagawa, which is like an hour away. I think that's the name. No, oh, nope, that's wrong. Tomorrow I'm gonna go to Kamakura, which is like an hour away. Then come back, do a day trip there, come back here, pack my shit, take the Shinkansen, which is the bullet train, to Kanazawa, which we wanted to go to last time, but we couldn't because of the hurricane. So go to, or Typhoon, go to Kanazawa, leave Kanazawa and go to Gifu. Uh, one of my favorite tattooers is from Gifu, like old school guys. I'm not gonna see them, but you know, still, I'm just interested in the area. Go to Gifu, uh, and then there's also this little town north of Gifu that I want to check out. Let's look at what the name of that is. Uh, Takayama. Maybe go see Takayama. And then by that time, what? That'll be like, probably here to like day earlier. So 28th, 29th, 30th. I mean, it'll be time to go. I'll have to zip back down, try to make it back to Tokyo. So the rest of the evening, I'm gonna take to kind of group my shit together. Get, get get a game plan going, figure out what tickets I need to buy. I'm gonna run down, go grab something to eat right now. I'm starving, we've all morning, we snacked on treats and shit, but I want some like real food, so I'm gonna hit these goddamn streets real quick, but local. It's only, uh, it's only three o'clock. It's only three o'clock, and by one o'clock, I'd already walked nine miles. So, dude, my legs, ugh, fucking cook. Like, my whole body, <laughs> my whole body hurts, my back, everything. Uh, that's the plan though. We're gonna get out of Tokyo. We've seen it. We've done it. We go to the, some of the same places and it's cool. I like it, but it's, uh, it's time to go somewhere else. Tomorrow morning, bright and early, we're out this bitch. Well, we'll come back, but still. New place. All right, I don't have uh, my camera with me because <coughs> I just came down here and I just went back to Ramen Kimura, which is one of my favorite ramen spots in Tokyo. It's in Ibisu. Pretty much one of the reasons why I stayed here is because I always end up in Ibisu to get the ramen. So I got that because I'm probably not going to get it again on this trip. So I got a little ramen. We're waiting on this place right here. Ibisu... Uh, something i don't know yubisu gyoza supposedly the best gyoza in some people say tokyo but supposedly the best gyoza in ibisu for sure so we're gonna give that a shot get a couple of those hightail it back to the crib and call it a day i'm tired as fuck today plus we got a lot of walking coming up the next like week we're here is basically we're just moving we also have to figure out how the fuck we're gonna mail home this big ass wooden plank so we got a few things to figure out today i just i it's like Almost 6 p.m. now, and I've been standing in front of this spot, Yusube, Yusube I believe it's called, uh, which supposedly, with Google reviews, has the best Yoza in all of Japan. Some people say it's the best Yoza they've ever had. Well, I uh, look through uh, process of elimination on their Instagram. It shows that they are closed yesterday for the emperor's birthday, and today they're just closed. They're not. They're not open. Today's just been the day of everything just being fucking closed. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm gonna go cruise around for a minute and <laughs> figure something else out. At this point, it's just fucking funny. Oh, nice. <laughs> today, today we got rain. It's fucking cold. Of course, the day that we're gonna go by the water, it's freezing uh, and cold. It should be fun, but it's okay. I'm not gonna complain about it, but. Oh, maybe it'll get a little sunny today. Either way, it's uh, a little bit before eight o'clock. We're gonna get an early start, get out of here. There's another thing about traveling here, the trains. You got your Suica card, your lip zipped, 
You know? You got your drink in your pocket, you got your snack in your bag, and you're ready to go. What did you forget? You forgot what fucking time it is. If it's fucking 10 o'clock, you're fucked, son. You better be ready to get on a train smushed up in that bitch because that's what's gonna happen. Really, the train opens at like 4.30 in the morning, so it's a double-edged sword. The earlier you go, the quicker you can get out of here. But if it's somewhere, like yesterday, where places are gonna have to be open, you're gonna be fucked and you're gonna be walking around. But if you go at 10, 10.30, everybody and their cousin's mother is also gonna be going. So, busy times. Just keep it in mind. You can't avoid it altogether, but you can definitely avoid it sometimes. All right, to the place we're going. We made it to Kamakura. It's rainy, it's wet, it's cold, but it's okay. We got a little hot tea. And we're gonna walk over here towards this toy gate and see what is here. Dude, there are so, look at all these temples. Temple, 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 temple. It's just like temple central. Temple, temple. <laughs> Bro, you could just go on a goddamn temple tour. We are here, so let's remember that. There's a giant Buddha, which I don't know who you would think would be on the map. All right, we'll find it. is sick. This first temple is just Tory Gate. Heaven, the mundane world is non-existent to us right now, dog. We're in the spirit realm. Whew. This walk is uh, not exactly short, but it's beautiful. Uh, the weather for me is actually perfect. Ah, Goody! Okay. Whew. The weather for me is fine. Misty as we walk. Miles and miles and miles in Kamakura. Whew. Got a couple of places to check out before the sun goes down. We just left, uh, I think it's called Zenrari Benton, which was that, uh, that was the shrine where we washed our money and people go there to wash their money so that it multiplies. So we washed a little C-note real quick, see if it grows on us, you know what I'm saying? And uh, now we're gonna walk over to this great Buddha statue. We've hit three of the temples so far. See how many we get through.
Sally come to conquer. Oh. All right, so we're leaving the Kuan Yin Museum Temple, which was amazing. <laughs> Definitely go there. Got one more major one, which is like the bamboo temple. And we have to take a train there because it's like three miles away. So let's go find this train station. All right, we grabbed a little chocolate power up on the way. We haven't eaten shit today, so it's our first, our first power up. All right, so we took a train over back to this side, which is basically where we arrived. We still have to walk another mile and a half way through this bamboo temple so I'm calling it right now it's called Hucky Jojo there's a cave over here where someone of high importance performed a ritual suicide so I'm gonna check this out because it's only 300 meters this way and then we'll double back head towards the other temple which is still like a mile away it's all good man I really I really like this town though a lot. Lead influencer of the Shogunite. And this, this is where the ritual suicide took place, which is pretty crazy. Wow. And there's definitely like energy to all this stuff, man. You come out here, body gets tingles, head feels all like hair is growing for the first time. It's pretty amazing. Pretty fortunate to uh, be able to experience this so much. Whew. So cool. Here's something else that you will only see in Japan. When people find things, they just leave them for the people who lost them to find. Usually in a high ground spot, which is pretty crazy. That would never happen in the US. So we made it back to Ibisu and we are at the dumpling spot that was closed last night. Let's attempt to try this gyoza. We crushed uh, 14 pieces of gyoza in less than four minutes. Everyone in there just looked at me like I was insane for eating it that fast. But you know, we've already clocked 20 some miles today and all we've had is one little power up. Gyoza was what up, Cal? That yozo was good. Uh, is it the best I've ever had? All the reviews say it's the best in Tokyo. I have to disagree. Definitely not frozen, which is a positive. A lot of places still serve you frozen yozo, but they make that shit right there, which is good. But yozo Mura in Takada Nababa is way better. Just so you know, if you're coming here, I mean, that shit was really good. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely worth checking out. But if you only have one spot to go and you're really on some of that, I need the absolute best. I would say Yoza, Mira, Intaka. Alright, let's go back to the fucking crib finally. 